Today we are going to dye a human hair wig with um, hair dye from the Dollar Tree like box dye and so yeah I'm going to try to dye this wig blonde so before we get into this video make sure you give me a thumbs up and don't forget to like comment and subscribe and let's get started y'all <laughs> this wig just in case I mess it up so this is what she's giving it's a tea part um, body wave human hair wig I think this is oh it's hmm, it's 16 inches sorry um so 16 inches y'all see the luscious hair that should tell y'all what the quality is she's super soft I can run my hair, my hair, my hands through her. Haven't washed her nothing. So if I mess the wig up, at least y'all know <laughs> that girl was fire. Okay, before I lay hands on her. Okay, y'all. So I went to the Dollar Tree and I got three colors, but I'm just doing these two right now. So I have medium brown and dark brown. I really can't tell if this is brown or not, but whatever. But in the box comes with the dye and then I think this is the developer and whatever you put the and you mix the dye in here too and then of course some gloves and directions so I'm going to mix these and then I will show y'all me trying to dye my hair hopefully this works but we'll see okay disclaimer this is not a tutorial but I'm taking the um, dark brown color first and just working it in my hair um, well combing it through my hair which I would not recommend by the way do as I say not as I do period but um, yeah I'm just taking the darker color first slapping it all throughout the hair I really don't know what I'm doing like I said earlier this is my first time dyeing a wig so I was just playing around basically um, so this is the medium brown color and I took it just placed it on top again just slapping it <laughs> all through the hair I feel like I should have did this the next day because if I was going to do them together I should have just mixed both the colors in the developer together I don't know this part I don't know what I was thinking so yeah I'm just mixing it all in my hair combing it through once I got done I just placed a shower cap on it and this was it the next day I mean it did a little something it looks brown I feel like it would be browner in the sun but this is what it looks like in normal lighting so I'm gonna take the blonde and just do highlights um, I was actually going for city girl highlights but yeah it did not turn out that way which you'll see towards the end but I'm just picking up random pieces of hair and working the light blonde color through and also I think I combed it too so again I wouldn't recommend you combing it through especially because when I was combing it I noticed that some of the dye was building up in my comb so I feel like if you use cheap dye you should make sure you're getting the most of the dye in your hair if that makes sense I lost my train of thought there for a moment but I also tried the weaving method too to get the highlights as you can see there just take the end of your comb and weave it in and out of the strip of hair and just highlight you know what hair you want to um, so I did that all around my head too and here's the weaving again for those who are watching this as a tutorial even though it's not one you know you might learn from this and figure out something better so yeah overall the dye 
I liked the dye, um, but it just didn't turn out how I wanted it to turn out. Spoiler alert, sorry. So, yep, just combing and randomly, peek, uh, randomly picking up pieces <laughs> to dye them. And that's pretty much my method. Nothing special, nothing too crazy. Don't terrorize me in the comments. Again, I don't know what I'm doing. But I eventually think I'll get better with dyeing stuff. I really understand why people do watercolor dyeing now. Because honestly, this was a lot of work. Like, a lot of work. But it was fun and entertaining and gave me something to do all weekend. So I really can't complain. So after I work it in, I just put a shower cap on it again and let it sit for 45 minutes. And this was the end result. As you can see, the blonde really wasn't blonde. It was just kind of like a brassy brown. But I don't know. <laughs> it was very random, but it definitely was a fail. So I'm going to curl the hair and come back to you guys. This is the wig. It looks browner in my bathroom, but I literally just put some curls in it and then pin curled it up for like three days. So it's been like this for three days. So this is the inside. Two combs at the top, one at the bottom with adjustable straps. And as you can see, the T part is fake scalp. So this is what um, she looks like plucked. I didn't put any concealer in the part either, but if it doesn't look good, I definitely will. I got my wig grip on because the last time I got a wig by this company, the wig was like big and it was a lot of room. So I came prepared today. I'm not even going to put that comb in in the back. So, start taking these pins out. I don't know if my hair is going to hold these curls. Because like I said, it's been days that it's been curled up. And I didn't use any hairspray. Like none. And I just used a curling iron, nothing special. So, if you want to know if the hair can hold a curl, it definitely can. I think the curls fell in the back. <laughs> if you want to be honest. I did something. Hmm. I should have made this a curling tutorial. <laughs> this is my first time like curling hair period. I never curled my hair before. I literally had to watch a YouTube video to see how to curl hair. And it came out bomb. Hold up. So, 
as y'all know I use Dollar Tree dye this is the brown color that I got you really can't see my highlights I mean you can but they're nothing special would I recommend the dye I would recommend the dark one like the brown I wouldn't recommend the blonde color because again it didn't really do anything but if that's something you want to try definitely do that um as for the hair y'all this hair has been dyed fried and put to the side and it still looks great so take that as you want it um let me tell y'all the specs real quick got hair on my lip gloss after minor technical difficulties y'all i'm feeling this okay anyways so this is sunbur hair and this is their fake scalp tea part lace closure wig it's a body wave and it's brazilian human hair 16 inches natural color and the current price is 105.26 but they are offering a 5% off coupon, so it'll probably be a little under $100. Um, this is the box it came in. It has dye all over it. Sorry. And it came with the wig cap and a headband. So, again, Sun Bear hair. Such pretty, luscious hair. A lot of body. Here's the back. Like, y'all seen it in the beginning before I touched it. So, this hair on my lip is really bothering me. But no, like, for real, y'all, this was fun. So, if you think I should do more videos like this, give me a thumbs up. Leave a comment below what you want to see next. And I will see y'all next week. Peace.